Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. So, uh, please bring out your books and turn to page. Yeah. Okay, by the way, uh, were you able to answer the things I asked you to answer last meeting? I think. Let me just go to the PowerPoint first. That was on page okay, 52, I think. Yes, page 52. Were you able to finish those? I'm sharing the screen. Okay. So last meeting, we finished discussing about the uh, population dispersion and population density. Okay, and now, uh, before we ended the meeting, I asked you to answer the following, which is on page 52, right? Okay, so put a tick in front of the correct statement. Okay, if, uh, uh, if the statement is not correct, okay, put a cross in front of the wrong word okay and then correct it okay so we have okay 2.1 okay economic activities of countries in latin america are industry and commerce okay so do you think this is correct or uh or uh, incorrect? How long? Uh, incorrect. Okay, so what did we have here? So what is the correct? Uh, I mean the wrong. America. Okay, very good. So we changed this one to. Uh, from the uh, we have here Latin America. Okay, so this is the. Okay. Uh, wrong wrong words here these are the wrong words and we cross them out and change it with Anglo America very good okay next one USA grows okay the largest amount of commercial corn and rice in the world okay so what do you think so what is your answer here Kao Klong correct or not correct uh, I think collect mm, okay so this is uh, actually okay wrong because rice it does uh, they do not grow uh, they do not have the largest amount of commercial rice in the world okay because uh, that would be in Asia, okay? But, of course, they have wheat, okay? Corn and wheat, okay? So, next one, number three, Grand Banks in the Atlantic Ocean is the home of abundant fish in North America. Right or wrong? Uh, right. Okay, let's see. Very good. So that is a right statement. So we put a, a tick or a check here. So next one, 2.4. Okay, sorry. The countries in Anglo America is more modern than ones in Latin America. Okay, it is again correct. Okay, so the next one we have is 2.5. Okay, the Indians are natives of North America. This correct? Opal, is this correct? What do you think? 2.5. Kaoklong. Uh, 
Yes. Okay. The uh, in? No, 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 no. So what is wrong here? Uh. What do you I think, think Indian. Indian. Okay, but if we base it on the book, okay, it 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 would be correct. Okay, but the word, the more accurate word here is, of course, the na Native Americans. Okay, but they were called Indians, right, by accident. Okay, so if we follow the book, okay, it is correct. We have the Indians and the, um, what do you call this ones? Uh, Eskimos, okay. And number six, the western mount, mountain range of North America is an area with high population density. Western mountain range. Okay, we have last one here. Let's ask Taro. The last st uh, statement here. Do you think this is correct or wrong? Taro? Okay, anyone who would like to answer? Uh I think wrong. Okay, wrong. So what is the wrong the what is the word that made it wrong? Uh, I think Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Mm, I don't think so. But you see here, uh, mountain range. Okay. Mountain range, meaning these are the mountains. Of course, there would be not much people living in the mountains. So, so we change okay uh high of course with what word is the opposite of high uh low okay very good so we can change this with low population density okay so you have here okay from number one, economic activities of countries in Anglo-America are industry and commerce. Okay, so that is the correct statement. So US, USA grows the largest amount of commercial corn and wheat in the world. Okay, number three. Okay, these are all uh, correct. Okay, except for the last one, which is the Western Mountain Range of North America is an area with, okay, uh, low population or you can also change western mountain range okay you can uh, take down okay you can cross out this whole okay I mean this uh, three words here and change it with uh, something like um, east coast okay east coast uh, continent Okay, because it says here in your book, East Coast continent has the highest population density. Okay, or you can simply just cross out high and put low. Okay, to make it correct. Now, okay, let's move to a new topic, which is the. Okay, oh, this is on page sixty-one. Everybody, please go to page sixty-one. And we have there the crisis of natural resources and natural environment, okay, of in or in North America. Okay, so crisis like this, these are the problems on natural resources and natural environment in North America. So we have the first one here, okay.
Okay. North America is, is uh North America, especially USA and Canada, okay, has indus is has industrial service sectors, okay, economic system. Therefore, natural resources and environment has been exploited. Okay, so when they say exploited, it means they are used uh, to its maximum. Okay, maximum uh, usage. Okay, they are used uh, optimally. Okay. So and this uh, th this resulted or th results in the decrease of crisis of okay natural resources and the environment. Okay. So because they are been they have been used uh, so many times uh, or, or overused. Okay, there there is a crisis in the natural environment and resources. Okay. So the first one, what uh, what type of crisis is? Okay, please read Kao Klong. Natural. Uh, natural resources. Crisis. Okay. So when they say natural resources, these are the things like. Uh, came from uh, from nature okay like first one here the soil okay so uh, the soil problem in North America in the cold areas okay uh, is covered by ice and snow so uh, in especially in the north of Canada okay it's mostly like covered in just ice and snow so the soil is not usable for okay planting crops Okay. Also, soil in the highland is less fertile because of erosion. Okay, if uh, like this are the areas in mount on the mountains. Okay, because they uh, there is an erosion and er erosion is like the uh, uh, like the like land falling from the mountains. Okay, so that would be an erosion. Also. Okay, monocrop and chemical agriculture lead to degradation and low mineral in soil. Okay, so when they say monocrop, okay, it means uh, it is the agricultural practice wherein you grow a single crop year after year. So uh, on the same land. Okay, so let's say you have uh, the same land and you plant only corn. Okay, every year you plant only corn. Okay, so if you do this, the uh, the quality of the soil would decrease. Okay, because there is not much uh, variety in your uh, uh, in what you plant. Okay, so that is monocrop. When you plant the same crop, okay, or you plant the same plant on the same land year after year. Okay, so a uh, good practice for this one. To avoid soil uh, soil degradation is to okay alternate uh, the crops okay so let's say this year okay or half of this year you would plant corn okay next would you you would plant uh, what do you call this rice okay or wheat so that is alternate cropping so next uh, next planting season you would plant Okay, corn, and then maybe another, uh, a different crop. Okay. Also, of course, the use of chemicals. Okay. Chemical chemical agriculture leads to degradation. So that is for soil problem. What is number two? Taro, what is the next problem on natural resources? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Yes, uh, after soil problem. Uh, mono, mono crop and chemical agriculture. Okay, so that is for soil, right? So we have next one. Yes. Af after soil problem, we have. Uh, mo mono cropping. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have here, please read. Water problem. Okay, very good. So we have water problem. Okay, nowadays water sources are polluted because of untreated wastewater. Okay, and uh, when they say untreated, 
Okay, this uh, untreated wastewater, these are the things that come from households, like uh, when we uh, wash the dishes, there are chemicals there, okay? So there are also uh, when, uh, from the toilet, okay? From the bathroom, when we take a bath, okay? So water goes, uh, of course, it has to go somewhere, right? Okay, and uh, some, like, go straight away to the water sources like rivers or the ocean okay so this is untreated so there has it has a uh, there has to be a way that uh, this uh, wastewater should be treated okay so just like what happened in the USA uh, in USA Florida we have their Everglades swamp we're in okay there were uh, there used to be a, a freshwater wetland and habitat Okay, of marine animals. Okay, nowadays, uh, however, uh, it is treated by it is threatened. Okay, threatened by human activities. Okay, furthermore, offshore drilling. Okay, uh, offshore drilling unit causes oil spill, damaging the ecosystem. So for oil, uh, offshore drilling, these are the okay oil rigs and the in the ocean. Okay, and if there's a, an oil spill, of course, the marine life would be affected. Okay, so because, of course, oil is not supposed to be mixed with water. Okay, so we have here, uh, this is the untreated wastewater. Okay, an example, wherein it, it goes straight away to the river. Okay, it's a mix of anything. Okay, it can pollute or it can also affect humans, okay, and animals, okay. So we have here a picture of how uh, how wastewater should be treated, okay. So you see here, wastewater from homes, cities, okay, and uh, other industries like factories, okay. So they, uh, they're supposed to go to a wastewater treatment plant Okay, before they are released to the okay uh, to the bodies of water okay okay so that is for uh 1.2 which is the water problem now we have next one which is please uh Read Kauklong. Mineral resources problem. Okay, so mineral resources problem. Okay, the mineral sources in North America are decreased because because they are used in manufacturing. Okay, so we cannot, like I mean, uh, stop this because there's so much demand from the people. Okay, like minerals like let's say gold, uh, silver, all these things. They are used on electronic devices, okay? So uh, this is also a problem in North America, okay? mineral resources because of mining, okay? So 1.4, we have there forestry resources problem, okay? So, of course, forestry, it involves, okay, logging, okay, or the cutting down of trees, okay, and it is a big, uh, let's say, a big industry in, uh, in North America, okay, especially in USA and Canada, and of course, uh, this will reduce forest areas, okay, besides tropical forest in the USA, okay, it's uh, threatened by human because of city expansion. Okay, city expansion and land development. This is the number one threat for, okay, this these ones are the uh, most threatening, okay, to the forests. Okay, because when uh, when they say land development, these are like uh, they build villages, okay, on a forest area. Of course, if you build the village or a, yes, or a small town, you need to cut down the trees. Okay, also for city expansion. Okay. 
So, okay. therefore, of course, uh, plants and animals are uh, their homes will be destroyed. Okay, and they will they will uh, uh, go extinct. Okay. So their habitats will be destroyed, and of course, they will go extinct. Next one we have is, okay, the wild animal animal problem. Okay, so again, you see here it is connected to uh, one point four, one point five to one point four from, okay, uh, from destroying the forest. Okay, we 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 also destroy the, okay, the habitats or. Yes, correct. The habitats of animals. Okay, the human enroachment of the forest in North America has destroyed animal habitat, animals' habitats, and food sources. Okay. So when they say enroachment, okay, the word enroachment means like people are going to the animal territories wherein they are not supposed to be there. Okay, like uh. Okay, so that would be for the natural resources, okay? So we have, what are the problems? Soil problem, okay? Soil problem, water problem, okay? Mineral resources problem, and for forestry resources, and wild animal problem, okay? So these are... Uh, our natural uh, these are the natural resources in America and this uh, these are their problems next one we will move to okay Calcula, please read number two no. crisis okay environmental crisis okay so this is like uh, these are similar to uh, natural disasters that is happening on uh, North America. Okay, of course, some some uh, are caused, of course, by human activities. Some are caused by global warming. Okay, so we have the first one there. Could you please read the first one? Chanasok under environmental crisis, we have. Taro, please read Taro. Yes, okay. Yes. I'm here. Heat. Heat, Heat wave. Heat wave problem. Okay. Caused by abnormally high temperature condition on the day. Around the hottest day of, okay, the year in summer. Okay. So during uh, summer, there would be uh, days that are uh, expected to be the hottest days, okay? And uh, uh, sometimes the heat, uh, uh, heat wave travels around the continent, okay? So you have here. So here you can see another the use of geographic tools, okay, to map out the heat wave and the temperature. Okay, so how is it uh, like uh, going, the heat wave going around the country of uh, USA? So you have there uh, gray for 120 Fahrenheit, extremely hot temperature. Okay, this is about 40 to 40, 40, more than 40. Okay degrees Celsius. They use Fahrenheit here. Okay, so you see how the geographic tools, okay, are helping on mapping out how is the be the behavior of the heat wave. Okay, so mostly it's on the south of um, uh, America. Okay, so white symbolizes the hottest. Now we have there
Kalk Long, please read. Severe. Storm problem. Okay, severe storm problem. Hurricane. Okay, number one is hurricane. Okay, hurricanes develop. Continue. Uh, develop in Caribbean Sea with more than one hundred. Okay. Uh, meters. Seventeen miles per hour. With wide speed near. Center global warming has caused recent hurricane day to the book. Okay, so for hurricanes, so it is developing on the Caribbean Sea, okay, with uh, 117 uh, meters per hour, okay, wind speed near the center, okay. Also, uh, global warming is causing the hurricane speed to double up, okay. So we have as uh you have there as this uh situation which is also mentioned in your book, okay Hurricane Katrina, which uh occurred in uh two thousand five, okay. Formed in the Gulf of Mexico and it hit New Orleans, okay. So again, this is a satellite uh, imagery of the storm. I mean the hurricane okay so it formed here this is uh, uh, the, uh, let me just annotate here so this is the Gulf of Mexico okay or the Caribbean Sea so it formed from here it started here going here so let me show you one more time so it formed from here okay so you can also see how the speed developed okay it started here uh, from zero miles per hour okay going stronger and stronger and okay eventually hit New Orleans here okay and this caused so much damage to New Orleans okay? and many casualties many people died and okay it caused flood as well Okay, so this was, uh, this is how New Orleans looked like during that, uh, during the hit of uh, Hurricane Katrina. So we have Hurricane, after Hurricane we have, what is number two? Kauk Long? Besides hurricane, uh, what is the other storm they have? Tornado. Okay, tornado. Okay. So tornado, it usually occurs in North America with a speed of 32 to 64 kilometers per hour. So this is much faster. Okay. It is uh, faster and stronger. Okay, but it is not uh, the area is not that big okay plus a tornado uh, usually does not stay long unlike a hurricane as uh, the hurricane can stay very long in an area okay so it can destroy uh, more okay but for a tornado it can just destroy uh, faster okay but it, it it can only stay there for uh, not very long Okay, so this is what our tornado looks like. Okay. It's like a small hurricane, a way, way smaller hurricane, but, um, but much stronger. Okay, next one is still under, uh, uh, under storm a uh, severe storm problem we have flood okay the, uh, the flood problem in North America is such as uh, I mean the flood problem in North America such as flood in Canada is caused by El Nino okay El Nino is uh, like having too much heat no not much rain okay okay but heat how does heat Okay, 
we will uh, know about why does how does heat contribute to flood okay also heavy rain in mexico caused loss in more than half of the country More, uh, moreover so here the information here moreover uh, global warming increases the, uh, the sea level by uh, sea level caused by melted glaciers and ice in the north pole so if we have el nino wherein there is not much rain and it's just too hot okay we uh, have global warming okay then if we have global warming the ice or the glaciers in the north pole melts okay and, and if they melt the sea level increases okay and then it of course it will affect okay the coastlines like south carolina miami texas louisiana okay they would be having a, a flood problem okay of course when uh, ice melts okay when glaciers melt okay they turn into water right and when they turn into water they will uh, uh there would be much likely like uh, more rain when they when this uh, ice turn into water the the rain would be much longer much heavier okay so you see here uh, a glacier melting this is just one there are more so when when that happens okay you see here in the moving picture a okay, warmer than average temperature can make okay uh, ice melt okay and then when they melt there would be uh, more rain and if there's more rain there would be okay flood okay because of precipitation okay. okay so We have there the last one that would be the drought problem okay and drought is like uh there is not much there is uh the temperature is too hot there is no rain and of course it can cause forest fires okay because there is no yeah. much water okay so we have there let's go back let's have a review So under the environmental crisis, we for, we have okay first one heat wave problem, okay. We have severe storm problem, and under this one we have hurricane, okay, tornado, okay. We have tornado and flood, okay. we would be and we have the last one would be drought okay so next meeting we will be continuing with um, guidelines of natural resources okay conservation okay natural resources and environmental cons uh, conservation and the effects of uh, environmental changes of uh, North America to Thailand okay any questions let me just check the attendance one more time so we only have three students Taro what is your class number my room two okay my room okay yes La class number my number in your class student number uh, I I number five number, number five. five okay thank you Okay, so that would be all for today. I'll be seeing you again next meeting. Okay, so we are almost done with our uh, lessons here. Okay, on the on our uh, on the next meetings, we will be answering some of the acti activities. Okay. So bye everyone. Thank you, teacher. Okay.